there is a large church in Miami named El Rey Jesus, King Jesus Church, pastored by a guy named Guillermo Maldonado. Now, Guillermo Maldonado is the Bill Johnson of Miami. Okay. Okay. And he and Bill Johnson are good friends. Mm. Long story short, there was a lady who came to the conference I was teaching. She came up to me. She introduced herself. She said, I used to be in El Rey Jesus. And I said, oh, really? Oh, she said, oh, yeah. She said, I was high up in it. She said, my husband is still in it. Maybe it's too much. I hope, hope I don't get her in trouble. But her husband is still in it. She got saved, genuinely saved, converted, left it, as you would expect a Christian to do, left the church. And I was talking about some of the manifestations in Maldonado's church, Bill Johnson. Well, anyway, she came up to me. She said, Justin, you know how Maldonado's church has the gold dust? And I said, yeah. She said, that was my job. She said, I was tasked, her and a friend of hers, we were told to go upstairs with canisters of, you can't make this stuff up, with canisters of finely, a uh, real fine gold glitter of sorts. And Hobby she said, Lobby glitter. Yeah. And she said, it was our job to dump it into the ventilation system. And of course, it blew out over the whole congregation. And people thought that that was the presence, the of, presence God. of God. I'm seeing glory glitter come down from my church. And the application is, what do I learn about God from this? Absolutely. How do you interpret Nothing. glory glitter? That's the thing. You can't, you can't exegete an experience. And Tom, one of the things I teach people, and this is something I really want to drive home, I don't deny that people are having some kind of an experience. What I question is the source of those experiences. It just, it gives them a buzz. Oh, absolutely. It absolutely gives them a buzz. So it's That's, a chemical thing. Yeah, it, it's what the whole thing is predicated on. It does give them a buzz. They do feel something. Right. Uh, that's why there's so much music and it goes on. I've been to Benny Hinn Crusades. The music goes on for two to three hours yeah. before Benny Hinn ever comes on the platform. Right. Yeah. And uh, you've heard that Costi Hinn, Benny Hinn's nephew, was genuinely converted right. about five, six years yeah. ago. And now he's theologically where you and I are. And um, Cessationists. So perfect. Tell people. Perfect in every way. Yes, perfect that's where you in and I are. Right. <laughs> if everybody would just listen. We've got it all figured out. Yeah. Um, and I tell people, you know, if your last name is Hen and you're a cessationist, <laughs> you've come a long way. <laughs> but he has become one of my dear, dear friends. I just love mm -hmm. him. He's a very humble, very sincere guy, very sound. But he will tell you that this, the music is a huge part oh, of it. Sure Without it the music, none of this stuff there's, would work. There's nothing. It doesn't work. That's right. You know, I, 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 I thought to myself, let's, let's take a guy like Michael Brown. Yep. Now, let's strip the service of music, dim lights, glory glitter. Right. You just stand at a pulpit and as best you can exegete that word. And let's see if people get lit on fire and fall down. Right. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Not it is a show. It's an absolute show. Now, not everyone who gets slain in the spirit, not everyone who uh, exhibits some of these things, they're not necessarily, some of them are outright manufacturing it. Some sure. of them, it's, it's complete manufacture. Some of them, they think they're experiencing something, yeah. but it's, it's psychosomatic, it's mind over body. You can take video clips of people in Hindu Kundalini and put them side by side video clips yeah. of Bethel or what's going on in IHOP or you know this stuff yeah. and they you can't tell the difference right. they look exactly like they speak in tongues hit people in Hindu Kundalini speak in tongues in the exact same way that people in charismatic churches do exact same way let's just talk about one's view of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. at the NAR conference or event they don't do teaching conferences they're all concerts right they will have glory glitter and say, look at the whole presence of the Holy Spirit, or I feel like I'm on fire and I twitch and I shirk and I jerk, versus the individual who believes the third person of the Trinity 
convicts a dead sinner of sin, righteousness, judgment, raises them to new life, and then takes the filthiest of people, cleanses them, and begins to sanctify them. Yes. Now that's a powerful work. That is the, Todd, that right there, that is the work of the Holy Spirit. Not gold glitter and angel feathers That's and people barking. That's a low view of the Holy exactly. Spirit. Exactly, and this is what I wish people could understand. This is exactly the point. It is, it is one of the heights of theological ironies that the very people who claim to have such an emphasis on the Holy Spirit, right. such they focus on Him and His work, and they would look at people like you and me, oh, you don't believe in the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You don't believe in His mm. power. To the contrary, I am so confident in the power in the person and the working of the Holy Spirit of God that I do not believe that someone can be indwelt by Him and teach the kinds of heresies that these people teach and have no prick of their conscience whatsoever. That, that's, the Holy Spirit is too strong for that. If He is strong enough to save us, He is strong enough to deliver us out of deception. Mm -hmm. And uh, sal salvation is a package deal in the sense, 1 Corinthians six eleven. Paul gives this long list, list of sins. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor effeminate, nor homosexuals, covetous, drunkards, or violers, swindlers, will inherit the kingdom of God. And he says, but such were some of you. And then he says, but you were washed, you were sanctified, justified. Those three terms, the two bookend terms, washed, justified, and right in the middle, sanctified. Those whom God saves, He sanctifies. Right. There's no exceptions. Right. No exceptions. So it is, it is the true height of theological ironies that the people who claim to have the highest view of Him, of the Holy Spirit, have, have the, the lowest, lowest view. Yeah, the, absolutely.